Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of South by Southeast. Today we are going to be talking about a trip that we made this past weekend and now we can officially say that we've gone to each. all three surrounding states. We've touched each <laughs> corner of our surrounding states. Yes. We can say because we went past the Chicago, Indiana border and decided mm-hmm. to go a little bit farther Yes. North. No, we went east. Well, and east. A little bit north. But that's what I'm saying. A tiny bit north, then, if you want to be. Well, first we went east, and then we went north. What I'm trying to say is this time, <laughs> we went to a little place that Tim Allen is a big fan of. Now, I know you all got to, you know about all these commercials, right? Experience. Do they? Experience Michigan, or I don't know. Pure where Michigan. Pure Michigan. Yes. So we went and we As decided you to... can see from the uh, videos that we have leading into today. <laughs> so we decided to go to Michigan <laughs> and see what they got to offer. And this little place I found online, and I know that your cousin Christine, shout, shout out, out to, her to my too, cousin Christine, that mentioned the Stray Dog Bar and Grill yeah. in New Buffalo, Michigan. And I've been wanting to go there, so this was my pick. And... Tell me what you thought about it, because I know what I thought about it, because I've been wanting to go here for a very long time. First of all, I'm not good with where things are at on the map. No, you're not. So (laughs) when she was like, yeah, we're going to go to Michigan, I'm like, man, it seems pretty, pretty far. She's like, no, it's like an hour and a half, a little less, about an hour away from where we're at. So I'm like, what, are you sure? We're going to, like, we're going to a completely different state. We're going to a completely different state and a completely different time zone. Yeah. So I'm like, are you sure? It's, and she's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. So I'm like, okay, Waffle House was in Indiana, and that was three hours away. Yes. And you're talking about going to a different state. So yes. that was my first thing. And then I see, obviously, we see Siri, and she's like, blah, 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 one hour away. Yeah. So we get there, and I didn't know what to expect. I knew we were hugging the lake. So obviously, I would imagine we'd be close to, to some water. Yes. But um, when we got into the town, it just felt like a cozy little... Like a like a um, Galena, yes. It felt like kind of like that, but not as historic. But it was definitely mm-hmm. like just nice brick, beautiful buildings with breweries and just mom and pop shops. Mm-hmm. Like a nice little tourist attraction. That's and it's actually the very first exit once you get into Michigan, so you mm-hmm. don't even have to go yeah, it's that really far close. into Michigan. Really close. And this little place I liked because first of all, it's the stray dog. I love dogs. Mm-hmm. We love dogs. We love dogs. We have two of our own, obviously. And it just piqued my interest because I've never heard of a restaurant or a bar called right, the Stray, the Stray Dog. Dog. So when you told me about the name of the restaurant, <clears throat> I was like, oh, immediately I thought of like kind of how the taco dive is. Shout out to the taco dive. <laughs> right along you know, the, the water line. Right, exactly. But it has the outdoor space so you could bring your best friend man's best friend right so you can bring your dog so that's why i thought the name tied in with each other a little disappointed when i found out it was just a name right and it wasn't you can't really, bring, you can't bring your dogs, dogs but they do um collect money for the michiana humane society mm-hmm, which is awesome so that is always a good thing when i think of a place that gives back right that gives anything. back to their community yeah. or especially animals yeah because we all know you know unfortunately animals get mistreated and even though it's not really overlooked but i don't think the laws now they're starting to get more aggressive but it's still hard to find out if an animal is being abused unless a lot of people are calling in and complaining so right the fact that anybody's doing anything for anybody is amazing right and so that was another check mark (laughs) on my list of good things for this place so i I did it wrong that way, right? Yeah, you did. We'll that figure it out. Last time. Whatever. So that was another thing that I had wanted to go to. But their food and the menu mm-hmm. was pretty basic. But the taste once we got there was completely different from what we probably envisioned. Yeah, it's, it's a little more high end. And first, I would like to say is that they're completely, um, you have to wear a mask. Even, oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. If you want to make your reservation, and I would recommend making, if you can make a reservation. We got there. We tried to get there right when they opened, and we showed up 15 minutes later, and there was a line already. Right. Well, they don't take reservations. It's a first-come, first-served basis. 
So you do have to be there in order for you to put your name on the list, in order for you to either sit inside or sit at the bar top, which we did. Yeah, we did the bar top because um, it's outside. It was the rooftop deck, and we were right there by the bar. And like you were saying, it's uh, masks everywhere, so mm-hmm. you have to wear a mask to make your little reservation. Once you get there, you have to wear your mask to go inside. Um, I do believe that you have to wear your mask to go to the bathroom just because we were seeing people pass yeah, by people and getting up around, and yeah. moving around. So anytime you're moving around away from your table, obviously you have to wear a mask just to protect everybody surrounding mm-hmm. you. But the food there, okay, we started off with appetizers with my favorite cheese curds. Cheese curds, Wisconsin cheese curds. And bruschetta, bruschetta. Bruschetta, which is the, the bread with the, I don't know what the sauce is, but it's Awesome, it's, and then the sliced tomatoes. It's the... Man, it's so good. Uh, what is it called? I know it's the vinegar. We just call it bruschetta sauce. <laughs> it's sold. So those things are awesome. And but, they're big yes, pieces. They're those, really big pieces. We each got are, like three or four we think we got, portion yeah, sizes. Three or four, you're right. Yeah. And then the cheese curds, are, they're big. They weren't just like little small ones. They were really generous yes. in how big the sizes were. You'll see in, in the video. And they're super cheesy. You pull them apart mm-hmm. and they're just Yeah, it stretches stringy. just as, so as cheese should. And the sauce for it even was to talk about because it was, it was really good. It was light, but delicious. <clears throat> yes. And then we had drinks. Yeah, they got um, a nice selection of They have drinks. a nice selection of, you know, cocktails that they make there on their own, as well as a huge array of beers that are on tap Yeah, as well. a lot of beer on tap. So... I'm sure, I don't they had some local viewer. brewery stuff. They had some yeah. Lagunita stuff. They had some some stuff that you're familiar with seeing, but then obviously they're going to try to highlight the local brews and stuff that's around there. So right, and they're really knowledgeable. You could ask them like, "Hey, what is this? Whatever," and they'll give you a little taste. Oh, I yeah. was trying not to to taste to everything, be that guy. <laughs> but I was that guy for a couple of things because I've never seen or heard of any of this stuff before. And, yeah, you know. but that's very good too because then you can. Just sample something that you might not have yeah. known was out there that you like. Yeah, so and don't be shy. Ask yeah. for a, ask for a little taste, and they'll give you like a little shot glass, and if you like it, you order it. Yep. But the food, let's talk about the food. They got a lot of yes, stuff. Like you said, did. it's a small. It's not. It's a decent sized menu, but for what they offer, it's really good, right? Yeah, and their menus are paper too, so that you can just easily throw them away mm-hmm. once you're done. Um, they had appetizers, tacos, salads, burgers. I know they had a couple hot dogs on there. Mm-hmm. Pizza. Um, and the sandwiches. Like the, and sandwiches. They had the pulled barbecue pulled pork. Yeah. So what did you end up getting? I got the grilled shrimp tacos. And now I made the mistake of like picking out on our appetizers. Yeah. So I wasn't able to finish all three of my tacos, but they do give you three. You know, some places they only give you like two and you're like, what, mm-hmm. what am I going to do, do here? this? But they gave you three and I was only able to finish one. But what <laughs> I did eat was really, really good. Their shrimp is very, very flavorful. They have like the pico de gallo on Yeah, it top. looked like it was loaded with like cilantro and onion Yeah, and, and lettuce and tomato. And I'm pretty sure. Sh- oh, and there was cheese at the bottom of it. So everything gets mixed in when you take a bite of it. Mm -hmm. So you get a taste of everything, and that was really, really good. And I was able to get a side of guacamole, too. Yeah. So they had that. Um, But what did you get? Because it looked like a really big mountain of stuff. It was a a barbecue burger, but I think it was called the Smokehouse. Oh, yeah. I think it was a Smokehouse burger, burger. and it was uh, Gouda cheese Mm -hmm. with... The patty, the patty was nice and thick, and it was seasoned really well. It, it was really, I was actually impressed on the patty size alone, and on how like yeah, because you're pretty picky with your hamburgers yeah, too. Yeah, they, they were like, really generous, and they gave you a lot of meat. Yeah, uh, and then it had bacon, which everybody loves bacon on yeah. a burger, <laughs> barbecue sauce, and then it was topped with an onion ring, and not to mention the bread wasn't quite like pretzel bread, but it was close to like getting to that that. Feel. Uh-huh. So it was really interesting to just take a bite into it and just be like, oh man, everything mixed together and it's just delicious. And then it came, I wish they would have had tater tots, but it came with <laughs> fries. Yeah, they don't have tater tots. <laughs> I think they only had the fries, I think some home style chips. I think there was another side that they had yeah, to get room. But I had to ask, it. yes, tater tots? Okay, I'll take the fries. It's not a big <laughs> deal. But it, whenever, you know, the tater tots are offered to me, I'm going to jump on those because I love them. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but no, the food was delicious. Um, just the whole area was pretty nice. Yeah, even while we were waiting for our reservation, it was going to be 30 minutes for mm-hmm. us to get the table. 
um, we took a, a little, like a 10 minute walk down well, see, that's the, the street. This, this place is at the very last block before there's an over, like little bridge, pedestrian bridge to get into where the beach is at. Mm-hmm. So like she said, we took that, that, that little time that we had to take the little 10 minute walk. Made our way to the beach and got to see everything that was there. It was pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, and it was really, really nice. You'll see in the videos there as well. There was a, like a, a what are those called? The light towers? The lighthouses? Yeah, lighthouses. Like, I don't know if it was a makeshift one or they actually use it. They probably don't really actually probably use makeshift. it. But it looked nice. Though. It was really nice. And there was a lot of beach people there. They had a little beach house. And there was... Um, the food truck there. I think it was like a slushy thing. Yeah, it was some kind of ice cream or something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was, which is really nice. A lot of people, not a lot, a lot of people were there, but people were starting to show up. It was, you know, the day was starting to get going. And what better way to just get on your boat and go or, you know, drop a towel and just be by the beach, man. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Things are still crazy, so, you know, be careful. We're not trying to tell anybody to go out or do anything. You know, take your time, do whatever you feel, but just knowing that, there's some kind of sense of normal stuff going on. It's, it feels pretty nice. Right. Just make sure you you know you stay safe, be protected, get your hand sanitizer, wear your mask, and like don't play around. Yeah, whenever you're around people, definitely have your mask on. Don't be too close. Stay your six foot distance. Like you said hand sanitizer. Um, that's always good in mm-hmm. an area that you're not familiar with as but well. If you're looking to, to do a little trip and not spend a lot of gas and just go somewhere where it's really close where you could literally be back you know, five hours later, you know, that same night, and you don't have to get a hotel, this is an awesome place to look Definitely the place. I'm sure that they have home rentals there as well because there were little boat houses that were Mm -hmm. in the marina that were, I'm assuming, docked to other boats that were there as well. So definitely look into rentals there. Um, I know that across the exit was a casino in New oh, Buffalo. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not sure which I think, one. Yeah, I think it's right. the Four Winds Casino. It is a Four Winds. As soon as we got off, there was a Four Winds so, Casino. So um, the casinos are open in Indiana, but of course, yeah, six foot social distancing, you know? masks, but... I'm not going to check that one. No, I, I don't really... But if you're looking, like I said, <laughs> it's it's close by, it doesn't cost a lot to go and do, and it's a nice little weekend trip, a little, nice little day Definitely. trip, go check it out. Um, what was it? The... Uh, Stray Dog. The Stray Dog in New Buffalo, Michigan. Um, it is on Whitaker Street. It's the the exact street that you get off on as soon as you hit Michigan. It's the very first exit. Mm-hmm. So you can't miss it. And I know that there's other um, little specialty shops, like you were saying. Mm-hmm. Mom and Pop shops, ice cream shops. I'm pretty sure there was a brewery around there somewhere as well. So definitely take a trip. And they do have... Um, a souvenir place right across the street mm-hmm. from yeah, the right Stray Dogs. So yeah. you can help with the Michiana Humane Society by giving and purchasing something from there. Yep, a t-shirt or a koozie or whatever they have there. So yeah, yeah check it out, guys. cups or something like that. But yeah, definitely check it out. It is worth the trip of an hour to an hour and a half. It is not even really that long. And you'll gain the hour coming back. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's so, a plus. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of South by Southeast.